Some of you may know him as the Super Freak, but football fans know him as Randy Moss, who played 14 seasons for five teams in the NFL. He last played for the San Francisco 49ers in 2012. So we're gonna take a deep dive into his lifestyle, including his career, his family, net worth, cars, and houses. As a result of his wealth and connections, Randy Moss has access to amenities that most people can only imagine having. He paid $1.25 million in 2008 to purchase a home with 3,846 square feet of space. The mansion in Lincoln, Rhode Island occupies more than four acres of property. There are three bedrooms and four bathrooms in the house. In addition to a three-car garage, there's a swimming pool fit for a resort complete with its own pool house. When it comes to cars, Randy knows what he's doing. He's no stranger to high-end automobiles, having previously owned a Lamborghini. In one of his pictures, he's posed beside a sleek black Lambo. On March 23, 1995, Randy sided with a friend who was fighting a white student who had made racist comments to Randy's friend in the corridor. Moss's original felony charge of kicking the student was reduced to a misdemeanor. A judge sentenced Moss to 30 days in the South Central Regional Jail in Charleston, West Virginia, after he pled guilty to two counts of misdemeanor violence on August 1st, 1995. That night, he went to jail for three days. The remaining 27 days had to be served within the next 18 months after he finished his first year of college. He was kicked out of school and finished his schooling at Babel Alternative School. Because of his racially charged high school altercations, Notre Dame didn't accept him. Moss then attempted enrollment at Florida State University, where he was swiftly expelled after a positive drug test. After committing to Marshall University, Randy Moss ended up being a two-time first-team All-American and the 1997 recipient of both the Fred Bolitnikoff Award and the Paul Warfield Trophy for his outstanding play on the football field. The Minnesota Vikings drafted Moss as the 21st overall pick in the 1998 draft. He had an instant impact and the Vikings attack quickly rose to the top of the league. After a season in which he amassed 1,313 yards and 17 touchdowns, he was voted as a starter in the Pro Bowl and was named the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. He improved in both areas the next year, gaining 1,413 yards and 11 touchdowns. Against the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC wildcard game, Moss caught five passes for 127 yards and a touchdown. He was named to the Pro Bowl for the second year in a row after accumulating 212 yards on nine catches and was named the game's most valuable player. Moss was selected to the Pro Bowl for the fourth year in a row in 2000, adding to his previous three choices in 1999, 2000, and 2001. Moss was traded to the Raiders from the Vikings in 2005 after seven years with the team. His output there was severely hampered by injuries and he was generally dissatisfied with his role on the squad. In 2007, after being traded to the New England Patriots, he was voted the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year and made his first Pro Bowl appearance since 2003. Moss was largely contained in the postseason despite his record-breaking season. In the end, he caught the go-ahead touchdown pass from Tom Brady in Super Bowl 42 with two minutes and 42 left in the game, Unfortunately, the Patriots still lost to the Giants by a score of 17-14. After playing with the Patriots, Randy Moss moved on to the Titans and then the 49ers. He finished second on the NFL's all-time list of regular season touchdown catches with 156, and he set records for most touchdown catches in a season and by a rookie at 23. Moss has two championships to his name, one in the AFC and one in the NFC. He was named to the Pro Bowl seven times and was named the game's most valuable player once. He was named AP First Team All-Pro four times and the NFC's most valuable player once. After being let go by the 49ers, he found work as a host on Fox Sports 1, Fox Football Daily. Upon retiring, Moss had 982 catches for 15,292 yards and 156 touchdowns. Sidney, Sonali, Thaddeus, and Montego Moss are the children of Randy and Libby Alpha. As his father did before him, Thaddeus followed in his footsteps and played football at three different high schools, Boone County, St. Albans, and Lincoln. 
As a result, in June of 2014, his father took a position as an assistant head coach at Charlotte's North Carolina Victory Christian Center High School. While at NC State, Thaddeus played tight end in 2016, and in April of 2017, he made the decision to transfer to Louisiana State University. Sidney Moss, Moss's first child, played basketball at Thomas More University in the NCAA's Division III. And just like her dad, she broke records, like the Div III tournament scoring record set by her team in 2014. Randy married Lydia Moss following his breakup with Libby. Randy Moss is a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2018 and holds the record for most touchdown receptions in a season that he set in 2007 with 23. His fortune is valued at $25 million. Moss has amassed about $82.5 million in salary over the course of his career. In 2012, his final year as an active player, he earned $2.5 million while playing with the 49ers. In 2008, he signed a three-year $27 million contract with the New England Patriots. That included a $12 million signing bonus, which was his highest salary to date. Moss received $14 million in salary and bonuses that season. Moss made NFL history when he inked an endorsement agreement with Nike's Jordan brand. In recent years, he had inked several endorsement deals, the most recent being with Livewire Ergonomics. They make energy chews and have promoted them using Moss's name. Furthermore, Moss has made arrangements with a number of regional businesses both before and after his retirement. Moss has also started or founded a number of charitable organizations, including the Randy Moss Foundation for Children, all of which focus on helping young kids. In an effort to help youngsters with treatable mouth conditions, he organized an invitational bass tournament. How about some more interesting facts on Randy Moss? Some things are secret on purpose, while others seem to develop organically. As a player, Randy Moss secretly opened a chain of juice bars. As a matter of fact, it's really subtle. There's no good excuse for him to have been so vague, but it does appear that he's trying to hide something from the public. It could be seen as humorous by some to squirt a bottle of water at a government official. Others, including the authorities, found it exceedingly juvenile. Moss was given a $40,000 punishment after the incident. This may seem like overkill for something so trivial, but it's necessary to avoid a repeat performance. Even if Moss was young, his actions were nevertheless shameful. Things became complicated in 2002 while Randy Moss was still a member of the Vikings. Moss was stopped by police after he allegedly collided with a traffic inspector. Assault with a lethal weapon is a serious crime. Therefore, Moss was arrested and taken to jail on suspicions of committing one. It was a dramatic twist in the career of the receiver. Randy Moss was born February 13, 1977 in West Virginia. The legendary ex-football wideout who could have beaten any defense in the game awoke from a disturbing dream. A phenomenal athlete, Moss made waves in the sporting world in his first year at Marshall University by setting numerous records. His outstanding performance with the New England Patriots was the best response he could provide to those who doubted his potential and honesty following a dry season. His record-breaking performance continued unabated even when he switched teams. He demonstrated time and again via his acts that he was an exceptional performer and a formidable adversary. The New York Times called him the NFL's biggest enigma, but his time in the spotlight was brief. Nonetheless, the fact that he has so many devoted followers attests to his extraordinary talent. If you like this video, you might like Moss's first team superstar Justin Jefferson's lifestyle video. Now, do you agree with Moss being one of the greatest receivers of all time? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.